Konnichiwa, this is the Shogunstein with a uh, review of uh, the board game Asylum, which I had thought was based on the, uh, the Ben Affleck movie in space, but is actually based on uh, the myths from the, the Greeks and the, the Romans. And I got to say, this is a, a great game. We played it at a, a big player count, and then we also played it at a uh, two player count. And uh, right now, at least as of uh, filming, this game, which is usually, I think, list price at like 50, 60 bucks, is down to $18 on the, the Amazon. And that's a bargain. There's a heck of a lot of game here. Excellent uh, components, easy to follow directions. And even if you have trouble with the directions, there's plenty of. Uh, videos online there's a watch it played and there's a toucan play and there's a rado so that makes it a lot easier too when you're buying a game and there's so many easy ways to to watch and learn how to play uh it, it's worth it too so it comes with excellent instruction book no problems following that then it also comes with an additional uh book explaining every card now check this out too this insert is outrageous it's a very good insert and uh, you see here there's the three decks uh, of gods that we didn't use because we used the ones that are recommended for uh, first game. And this is a two-player. This is the aftermath of a two-player game, which actually goes pretty quickly. There's a... Uh, obviously, you can play with more people. And that game uh, definitely runs uh, longer. But both reasonable and a lot of fun and uh, different ways to win. Um there are different decks relating to families of uh, the different gods. And that's one thing that makes this game have a lot of uh, replayability because you can uh, use different combinations of the god families to play. And you can have different variants with that. And some of the um, families are more powerful than others and have different abilities. The artwork from the box to the game, and this is the, the citizen side of a card. This is a, a wild card, basically, and then you look at the actual, uh, wow, Hercules. I thought Hercules was supposed to look like uh, the rock. This looks like the uh, the lion from the, the Game of Thrones, the one that uh, with the frozen and the snow and the, the half goat guy with the tea. See, the components are excellent, great artwork, card quality is, is good. You can see it's played over five epochs. And there's a very unique mechanism about getting cards. And uh, again, depending on how many players you have, you're going to take the number of players and then times it by uh, three and then add one, and that's the number of cards. So for... Um, our two-player game, we had seven cards out. And then there's one of the variants that you can use where there's actually, I believe it's Apollo, where there's a preview, like the Oracle, of four cards that are coming up. And what's unique is you, you get these uh, columns. And also, a nice little touch here for us colorblind people. Not only do you have the color, but they, put these little, they come with these little stickers so you can identify... Uh, what it is in addition to like for people like me that have trouble with the, the red and, and the green. And they also do that with all the cards too. All the cards not only have the border, but they also have the symbol on it as well. And as you can see from the player aid, it comes with a very nice player aid that explains all the different powers. Some powers are immediate, some you can use once, some you can use any time in your turn, some are after. Um, you can gain victory points by either uh, trying to get the same family, trying to get one from each, collecting uh, cards for in-game scoring. The wilds can get you points, but then you lose two. So if you're trying to get like this set of eight or 12, that wild card is good because 12 points minus you're still getting 10 points out of it. Very impressed with this game. I was a little concerned about whether or not it would scale well with two players. And I had read some things online that were, were mixed. And I got to say, at two players, it was great. It also moves very fast. Maybe the only criticism I'd have at two players is there's a lot of cards that you don't get to see. That's maybe the only criticism I, I would have at two players. Great components. Um, love the theme. Again, 
Love the, the insert, very organized, very good rule book, lots of ways to score points. Asylum. There was no uh, Ben Affleck in space, but other than that, very good game. Certainly worth the $18 and change that you would find on, uh, on, on Amazon. Little Shogunstein, did you enjoy the game? Yeah. He's, he's flossing right now. I just want to show it on, on film. That's how much he liked it. So, Asylum. Oh, he just disappeared. Uh, definitely recommend uh, checking, especially at that price. Even, you know, for slightly higher, it's worth it. But certainly, if you get on Amazon right now for, for $18, you're getting a heck of a lot of a game. And I felt it scaled well. I f- felt uh, when we played it at the big count, uh, I thought it was great, and I thought it was great at uh, two players. And if you like the myths... It's a, it's a good, uh, good theme. Oh, there he went, and uh, it may look a little bit like the, uh, like Seven Wonders Duel. I guess that was one of the things that initially attracted me to it. I thought maybe it was similar to that, but actually it isn't. So don't let the sort of uh, Greek and Roman uh, theme make you think that it's anything like that. It really isn't. So uh, completely different game. Asylum, highly recommended. Show us the now.